Paranormies, welcome or welcome back to the light side of the paranormal. I'm Jenna, and this is your Witch's Moon February unboxing. If this is your first time here, this is a series that I like to do where I unbox two different witchy subscription boxes every single month. And this is the Witch's Moon February box. This one is super heavy, and if you watched my last video on the other box that I did, which is the Box of Shadows, it was very, very light. And now it's no secret, I don't think anymore, that I much, much prefer the Witch's Moon over both of the boxes, but I do have a standing six month subscription with the Box of Shadows. So once that ends, I will unfortunately be ending that subscription and trying out a new Canadian based witchy subscription box. So that is to come in a few months time. I'm going to continue with the Witch's Moon though, uh, right through because as far as I can tell, this is the best bang for your buck. I love this box. It's so exciting. You get so many little extras and I just love it. So let's get right into it. Let me change the camera angle. Okay, so here is the beautiful Witch's Moon box. I haven't opened it yet. So let's see what it looks like. So we've got this nice fancy paper here. So this is the oracle card that it comes with that they tell you they have specifically meditated on and picked this specific card for you and your box. So let's see what it says. Oh, beautiful. So this is the little guide that it comes with. I don't want to read too much because I want it to be a surprise. So let's just get the theme of the box. Bound by soil is the theme. I'm just going to read the little snippet here on top that says, if you listen closely, you may just hear the whispering and wandering of spirits that inhabit nature around you. In this exclusive collection, we pause and ponder, providing ourselves with the time necessary to connect with all of the natural elements that surround our practices. Through this beautiful season of growth and creation, we delve into the deepest and most authentic roots of our craft, bound by soil and enhanced by magical intent. Let's see what we have next. So this looks like a little spell or incantation. The sacred, the sacred soil. I won't read all of that. We'll look into that after. Oh, this is so cute. Some gnome artwork. So it talks all about gnomes as elementals and what they're like in this little write-up. Very nice artwork. This is really nice. This piece of artwork about the power of Gaia. I think I'm saying that right. If I haven't said it before, I am a solo practicing witch. So most of the stuff I study, I just kind of make up the pronunciation in my head and that's just what I've always called it. So if I'm wrong, please correct me nicely. Uh, but I believe it's Gaia, so it's Mother Earth. It's so nice. Nice colors. Okay, so I don't want to give too much away. So I believe this is the tea. <laughs> it's the tea that comes with every box. Earthly Bounty, the little muslin bag for the tea. I will read about that in the guide afterwards. So this is this month's candle. A very appropriate earth toned color. There's our crystal for the month. Oh gosh, I am stoked right now. This, oh, is a geode that they have elastic closed. This is the first geode I've ever opened in my life, I'm pumped. Oh, wow, look at that. Oh, I hope you can see how pretty that is on camera. So this will be the sacred oil for the month. Earth Mother anointing oil. I'm gonna smell it. 
Okay, this is by far my favorite anointing oil that I've got yet. So this is the third box that I've unboxed of Witch's Moon and this is my favorite. It smells sweet and really, really good. I've got a little sage bundle here. And this is our incense for the month. Forest floors. I'm gonna get that a sniff. Oh, that's my favorite incense as well. These smells are really up my alley. This is a great scent. Juniper berries and white oak bark. We'll read about those. And this is exciting. Looks like a tarot or oracle deck in here. I think it might be safe to assume that this is a forest or mother earth themed oracle deck. We'll open this up after when we read about it and then we can take a look at some of these cards. And this is the last piece in here. Actually, a book. This is so cute. Hedge Witch's Field Guide. I have a feeling this is the guide to go with the deck. Yeah, it is. Really nice. Really pretty, simple artwork. I love it. It'll be really nice to have a nature-based deck. That's exciting for me. <laughs> I don't have one of those. Love it. All right, so. Oh, our bath salts. I totally didn't even see them because they're behind this card. They're tucked away. So these are Ostera bath salts. Once again, if I'm mispronouncing, my apologies. In my practice, it's called Astera. <laughs> so these are bath salts with the theme of Ostera. They're so citrusy. They smell wonderful. I did use the salts from my last box and they were really, really great. So Astera is the original holiday Sabbat which got turned into Easter. So Ostera is around the same time and has absolutely nothing to do with Jesus or anything like that. <laughs> so this is coming a little bit early, but probably because it's in the end of March and they want you to have the stuff you need for Ostera before Ostera comes. Okay, so let's go through the guide. I don't normally read everything. We'll just read little snippets of each thing. So the first thing is exclusive hardcover Hedge Witches Field Guide with Oracle Cards. That's this here. We are truly honored to have the opportunity to create an exclusive and first hardcover copy of this field guide. As you open this book to the first page, you will see a special intention from the Witch's Moon. May nature's wisdom forever be heard whispering and guiding you on your path. This beautiful Hedge Witches Field Guide was created by Ciolo Thompson, it looks like a self-taught visual artist who lives and works in Seattle, Washington. The botanical cards can be used as an oracle deck or as flashcards with the book as a study guide. When used as an oracle tool in your meditation or divination practice, the cards can stand alone or work in conjunction with other cardomancy tools. And it goes on from there to say that it also talks about where to find the plants, what part of the plant is commonly used, and other things pertaining to witchcraft and plants. So the Power of Gaia Book of Shadows artwork stands alone. It's artwork for your Book of Shadows or that you can frame and put around your home if you choose to do so. The gnome artwork as well is artwork for your Book of Shadows. Hand rolled sacred soil spell candle. It has been anointed with the intention of honoring Gaia and the Great Mother. 
as she provides us with an overwhelming number of blessings. So this is the Sacred Soil Candle Spell Book of Shadows artwork to accompany the spell candle. Forest Floors Ritual Incense Sticks as you allow the wonderfully refreshing and fragrant scent from these incense sticks to drift throughout your sacred space. Visualize yourself laying on a forest floor surrounded by bounties of trees, herbs, and flowers. Allow yourself to feel calm and vibrantly awake. So I was wrong, this isn't a sage bundle. It's a dried lavender bundle. When I smelt it, I thought, it's a little bit too fragrant to be sage, a little bit more floral. So this is the dried lavender bundle. This wonderfully fragrant dried bundle was created so that its cleansing smoke can waft throughout your sacred space. It is important that you burn this bundle with caution. Mm -hmm. We have included this specific bundle within this collection to bring positive, protective, and harmonious energies into your environment. Earthly Bounty Ritual Tea. A celebration of health and vitality, this earthly bounty tea was created with the intention of uplifting the spirit and grounding chaotic and confused emotions. This ritual herbal tea has been created with chamomile, rose petals, orange peel, oat straw, lemon balm, and lavender. As you sip this refreshing blend before or after a ritual, allow its energies to conjure emotions of hope and optimism. Then we've got the juniper berry and the oat bark. Juniper berry, as stated within the Hedge Witch's field guide, the astringent blue-black seeds known as juniper berries are a common culinary and medical herb. Many traditional farmhouse ales and gins are seasoned with juniper berries and twigs. In addition to being a great seasoning, juniper resonates with the energies of invigoration. To invigorate is to revitalize, animate, and bring fresh life to something. The white oak bark has long been a sacred source of magic throughout history, dating back to the Druids who traditionally would not meet for rituals unless there was an oak nearby or present. In addition, the oat bark brings to life the image of witches dancing beneath its wavering limbs, calling upon spirits during ritual. Carry white oat bark with you during your day to draw good luck towards you. The sacred oak is a wonderful symbol of protection and strength and should be included within any practitioner's pantry of magical herbs. Then we've got our salts. Austera celebratory salts, a time of celebration. Austera represents the essence of spring, bringing rebirth and hope to the coming months. This time represents the coming of warmer weather and the promise of new opportunity in the horizon. This sacred salt was created with the intention of bringing fresh energies into your energetic body. We've enhanced the sacred salt with sweet orange, lemongrass, as well as rose, lemon balm, lavender, and other herbs. We have also included a special mixture of our Ostera Celebration Magical Oil from our personal cabinet. Then we have the anointing oil. We have created this magical anointing oil with the intention of grounding you during times of chaos, challenge, or confusion. As you work with this special blend, visualize your energies drawing into the earth below you, grounding you and unwavering. Feel the sense of calmness and safety as you are blanketed by the warm embrace of earthly energies. I won't read the whole thing, but it does say we have enchanted this magical oil with green tea, jasmine, cedar, vetiver oils, and have included oak bark and jasmine buds as well. Inside your oil, you will find a Lemurian quartz said to personify oneness within your aura. Then we have our nice geode here. Derived from the Greek word, I cannot pronounce it, meaning earth-like. The geode carries with it the wonders of earthly obsessions. The geode is one of the most recognizable stones and can commonly be found positioned around the home of any magical practitioner. It is expected to find crystals such as quartz, amethyst, and citrine hidden within the cavity of these wonderful stones. In addition to the geode's ability to heal and bring balance to the body, it provides almost instant stress relief, allowing you to relax and readjust. And lastly, the oracle card which it doesn't talk about because it's personal to each box. So there you have it guys, that is February's unboxing. It was really great, I absolutely loved it. This is by far my favorite box I have gotten so far, although last month I really loved the Selenite Dagger, but I think this one is my favorite. It did not disappoint whatsoever. I am so in love with all of it. And, and before I wrap things up, I did mention we would open this and take a look at the cards quickly. Bearberry Strength, Blackberry Adaptation, Dogwood Defend, Hawthorne Sacred, Indigo Enhance, Regenerate, Plantain Nourish, Strawberry Enjoy, 
Violet Attract, Wormwood Caution. So there it is, guys. So there you have it, folks. That was February's Witch's Moon subscription box unboxing. Box unboxing, box unbox. Please make sure to give this video a like if you enjoyed watching it and you want to see more videos like this. And don't forget to leave a comment on your thoughts and feelings about this box and everything that we saw when we were opening it. If you haven't already, please head over to Instagram. Our link is in the description and follow us over there. And you can follow Alice and myself at our personal accounts too, if that should interest you as well. And I'll see you next time. Keep on creeping on. Bye guys.